What is up, guys? It's N and W Jacob Montaigne. Uh, sorry, it's been so long since I've done any videos, but um, no longer an N scale again. But uh, I do think that I will be staying in HO this time because I'm being a lot more strict on myself on what I collect. Um, as you can see here, uh, these are my locomotives so far. I do have one more PS4 coming in the mail. So, uh, I'll probably do a video on that whenever I get it. But, um, starting down here, well, these are all HO scale. Uh, all the green ones are brass, and this one's a Walther's Heritage series. <clears throat> But first off here, I have a Empire Midland 4501. Um, I was able to get this off eBay. But uh, it's a professional paint job. And then I just detailed it up a little bit like a front grab irons here. And most of the piping along the bottom was still green and the wiring and stuff up here at the front was gray from where they painted the uh, smoke box and I painted those black <laughs> uh, it does have a detailed cab interior and this one is painted to resemble 4501 when Brosden restored her and painted her in a PS4 scheme <laughs> but uh overall it's a pretty nice model it's got real coal in it <laughs> if you look at the back of the tender <laughs> I'll do a more in depth review of each one of these later but for now it's just a locomotive update <laughs> then the locomotive is just packed full of detail as you would expect from brass and then uh kind of hard to see it but hey uh, there's the uh, cab interior i'm planning on painting that next is my uh walther's heritage series southern railway 080 number 1882 I'll be uh, doing a review on these as well, but uh, I added a real coal load in it. And cab figures on the interior. And you can see the fireman's just standing there chilling. And the engineer's looking out the window there. And next is one I just got through painting myself. This is a PFM 462. Uh, like I said, I painted it myself. Got the red tender deck. A real coal load. In the back of it there. And I'll do a review of all these individually, like I said earlier close up locomotive I'm really pleased with the way this turned out I'm waiting to hear back from a buddy about decals for uh, this one and my other one because I have one more coming in the mail right now but I haven't got it and this is my a cane USRA 482 mountain Painted and decaled myself. Wearing southern green. Real coal load. This one did a black tender deck. And, uh, all of these but the 080 need couplers on the backs. Some of them need them on the front too. Uh, this one's pretty nice as well. No, this one also has a cab interior that I've already painted. 
y'all guys a quick look at that. There you can see the inside. Got our fireman and our engineer. It wouldn't fit in there, so I had to chop off his legs. <laughs> but looking at it from the outside, looks pretty good. <laughs> um, all of them run <laughs> very well. But uh, 482 here, I got it cheap because it doesn't run. So I'm looking on getting a motor for that. But uh, those are the locomotives. Next video, I'm going to be doing some passenger cars that I got that are also brass. So y'all guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll be posting some more videos later. Thank you and have a good day.